Yes, sir. Uh, with uh, the aim being at uh, Yakandana being 100% renewable in 2022, does that mean that you're going to be basically off the grid? No, it's, it's, um, it's an aspirational goal uh, of, of a net. Um, the uh, amount of energy produced through renewable energy would be higher than the total power usage in the town. But there'll be some places that will be using grid power and they, they, may, they may not change at all. But our goal is, is to be generating enough renewable energy to counter uh, to be more than what's used in the town. So it's, a, it's like a volume uh, goal. I, it's a, the reason why I'm interested is because like in a bushfire, during the bushfire period, yeah. how, having power is very important. Absolutely. So would then you still possibly have an interruption to your power supply to the town if something happens somewhere else? Yeah, you, you said, do you mean you have an interruption is, is to, to the... Within the township, is there, would there still be power if, let's say, the grid would be interrupted? Well, you, yes, there would. In fact, the opposite would be if, if, the, grid, if the grid was interrupted, um, Previously, there'd be no power at all, but with, at least with some solar generating capacity, there would be some you know, in the town, um, irrespective of what's happened to the grid. I'm not sure if I'm uh, getting yeah, I'm just being clear to you. I, I sort of see it as a uh, being off the grid thing makes the town safer in, in a bushfire period. Being off the grid does. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Well, we're not we're not aiming for to be you know, we're not setting a goal for the town to go for completely off the grid right now. It, it's really, as I said, it's, it's a volume of generation that, that's our goal right now, um, and that might happen. But well, we're we're working with um, the provider of the, the transmission, the poles and wires company, um, Osnet, um, where the power comes from. For them, I don't think it matters that much. It's actually their, their business is in actually delivering power. Give Alison the final word. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to attempt to go completely off the grid. The taxpayers have paid for the grid. Let's make use of it. We, we can, but we, if we can bring in progressively more and more of our own storage, um, then yes, well, it'll be much safer. It'll be much more available to you during a fire period if the grid goes down. What we see is that that progressively will be much more distributed and decentralised, making use of those links, the transmission links between towns, much, much less, because we'll be able to satisfy our own needs within townships. If it's a little town at the very end of the line, then yes, it could, you could snip the grid, snip the, snip the, what, snip the, the transmission wires and just not bother about it. I mean, we've got such remote townships in New South Wales, um, but it's just incredibly expensive to keep them connected. And it doesn't make a lot of sense if you can get good solid storage out there. But for most of the rest of us, it makes more sense. And it's certainly better for people who can't afford to put in storage, and if we can't afford to, to put it in for everybody, um, then to, to make use of the elements of the grid that we can within the township and restrict <coughs> as far as possible the need to use the transmission wires between the townships. And we see that sort of thing being developed you know, over the next, you know, through to 2050. Um, that that's the direction things will go in in this country. So we become much less dependent on those big transmission lines. I'm really mindful of the time, and so what I'm going to ask those three of you that still have questions that you'd like to ask is to put them on the question section on the back of your <coughs> feedback sheet, and we will undertake, we will commit, Jeff, to get answers to those questions to you in a very timely fashion. And we'll get them on the web. And we'll get them on the web as well as the questions that have been asked tonight. So. It falls to me now just to thank, firstly, our three panellists. Uh, I'm going to give them a bottle of wine on our behalf. Please thank the three.